hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the subject of engineering thermodynamics and so far we have discussed uh, in the previous videos we discussed about uh, thermodynamic equilibrium uh, and continued our discussion related to you know thermodynamic system and thermodynamic properties so in this video uh, we are going to discuss about uh, some more concepts related to the basic introductory concepts associated with thermodynamics so today's topic of discussion is pure substance and state postulate okay so before that let us just have a quick look because the the terms that will be used in this discussion so first is uh, thermodynamic properties so thermodynamic properties as we have already previously discussed they describe the physical conditions of a system the characteristic properties of a system okay the characteristic features or we can say of a system so the terms that are used to define the state of a system or the condition of a system those are called as the thermodynamic properties so the common thermodynamic properties that are always we will come across commonly used are pressure temperature and volume and there are of two types intensive and extensive properties now we have already discussed a lot about this so i will not go again into these things okay intensive and extensive properties next thing which will be used here is the state of a system so when all the thermodynamic properties associated with a system will attain you know fixed values definite values that do not change then that system is said to be existing in a definite state so we can say that a state of a system can be uh you know located or can be defined using the thermodynamic properties as the coordinates like we use the x coordinates and the y coordinates to pinpoint the location of an object on the coordinate axis in terms of its abscissa are an ordinate values similarly the thermodynamic properties mainly pressure volume temperature other values are also used but these thermodynamic properties they act as coordinates to describe the state of a system the state they are the state variables okay and in any operation in which there is a change in the properties the thermodynamic properties one or more properties of the change it is called as a change in the state of the system okay next important thing here is the phase so a quantity of matter or substance which is equal or uniform we can say you know homogeneous like same throughout in terms of its physical structure and chemical constituents the chemical composition then if it is same it is uniform it is homogeneous then it is said to be existing in a single phase okay so the a substance can exist in any one of the three phases solid liquid and gas next is homogeneous and heterogeneous systems i am discussing these things because it will be used in the definition or uh, it will help us in defining a pure substance and state post postulate that is uh, a different discussion but these are used for the pure substance discussion okay so homogeneous system it consists of a single phase a single phase system is called as homogeneous only one phase heterogeneous consists of more than one phase now what is a pure substance so a pure substance is one which is homogeneous in nature okay so here 
the definition of homogeneous system comes into play so the homogeneous system is one which is uniform in its chemical composition throughout okay a single phase system so a pure substance is homogeneous or uniform or same throughout in terms of its chemical composition so the relative you know the ratio of the various constituents that are components that are present in a particular substance it is not necessary that it consists of only one constituent it can have more than multiple constituents so the ratio must be constant okay the ratio of the individual constituents must be constant so examples of pure substance atmospheric air that is an example of pure substance steam water mixture salt sugar their physical structure chemical composition is homogeneous it is uniform throughout like i said atmospheric air is a good example you know the relative ratio of the individual constituents now we know that atmospheric air it consists of nitrogen oxygen water vapor carbon dioxide argon and a lot of other constituents are also present but here this definition that sorry the ratio and proportion of the various chemical constituents should be constant that comes into play here no matter where you you know take a sample of air for study you analyze it you will always find that it consists of 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen actually it is round about okay it is just above or below 78% like uh, 77.9 77.8 or 78.12 that doesn't matter it should be rounded off to 78 close to 78% similarly oxygen actually 20.8 20.9 or 21.1 21.2% that doesn't matter so round about 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and remaining makes up uh, this water vapor carbon dioxide and other gases so the ratio the proportion of the various individual constituents is constant so that is very important for the definition of a you know the pure substance when it when that comes into play so a pure substance is homogeneous in its uh, you know uniform in its chemical composition and uh, the relative ratio of the various constituents must be constant next is state postulate so here the uh, state of a system that comes into play state postulate the state of a system comes into play so a state is defined a state of a system is defined when all the properties okay macroscopic properties that are used to define the system that are we are using to understand the system they have you know they are constant with time they do not change with time they attain fixed definite values that is when a system reaches a particular state according to the state postulate a pure substance okay so he see here pure substance also comes into play in state postulate so the state of a pure substance of particular mass which is in thermodynamic equilibrium so i have already discussed about thermodynamic equilibrium in the previous video that is mechanical chemical and thermal equilibrium when all these conditions are satisfied a system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium okay with the system with the surroundings so the state of a pure substance in terms of its properties can be fixed by specifying any two macroscopic intensive properties okay according to the state postulate please understand it as the state of a pure substance first condition the substance should be pure homogeneous uniform in chemical composition second condition is it should be in thermodynamic equilibrium with the surroundings that is mechanical chemical thermal equilibrium 
so if a system satisfies these conditions then the state of that system can be fixed by specifying any two macroscopic intensive properties it means what it means that any two properties can be used to define the complete system and all the other remaining properties can be derived directly or indirectly from those two values so which two properties should be used that depends on the system which is under study so it is also called as the two property rule so a good example here uh, we can take is that of the case of the ideal gas equation we all studied it uh, in the you know the college days and the chemistry so we know that the ideal gas law it defines the relationship between pressure volume and temperature for gases at standard temperature and pressure so the relationship is given by we are not going into detail about ideal gas equation we'll discuss it when the time comes here i'm just giving a example so we'll discuss it in a quick way we'll not go into the detail okay so the ideal gas equation is given by pv is equal to nrt so it is a combination of various laws boyle's law charles law avogadro's law so it is combined to form this equation so pv is equal to nrt where p is pressure v is volume n is the number of moles of gas r is the universal gas constant t is the temperature so here if we know that n and r are constant number of moles of gas and r they are constant so if we pick any two properties be it pressure or volume or pressure or temperature or volume or temperature the third property or the value of the third parameter can be automatically we can determine so if we fix any two values here be it pressure or volume pressure or temperature volume or temperature the third one gets automatically fixed so the point is that here two specifying two properties or fixing or selecting two properties is very important the third one gets automatically fixed so if we fix p and v p will get automatically fixed we can get the value because n and r are constant so i this is a very good example of the state postulate to understand state postulate okay so like i said if we know any two properties of the pure substance in equilibrium we can easily get the other properties so commonly temperature pressure specific volume they are used as the microscopic uh, intensive properties to define the state of a system for example for nitrogen let's consider nitrogen uh, confined in a cylinder with a movable piston its state can be defined using temperature and specific volume okay so this is how a system the state of a system is defined for a pure substance in equilibrium as per the state postulate and we try to understand it with the help of a good example which is the ideal gas equation okay so here we have discussed about the uh, pure substance the concept of pure substance and about the state postulate so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much